<laughs> I'm ready. Are you? A rotten, blood-soaked island kingdom, there once was a queen by the name of Catherine Parr. She was the sixth wife of the vengeful King Henry VIII. I won't be a patron to heretics. He will kill me like he did my mother. He would never do that to you. Do you hear me? I love that scene between Elizabeth and Catherine Parr. I don't know if Elizabeth would have been scared of being killed by her father, though. I think it's a bit like extrapolating here. Would she have been scared, maybe? Would, did she think he was a monster? I, we don't really know the extent of which um, she, at that time, how much she knew what happened. Because what we know is that in 1559, there was a man, um, Alice, who um, witnessed Anne Boleyn's downfall and he was a partisan of Anne Boleyn. And his records to that, when he talked to Elizabeth, um, he really detailed everything. And he did it, and he said it to himself, so I said, it, it comes from a place where I want the best for you and I want you to know the truth and I want you to know that your mum was innocent and I want you to know that she was a good queen. And... It's almost as if she's never, she'd never known what really happened. So I don't think that here, you know, she would have said something that brush like, and that she knew how much her father was a monster. I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure, but I do like that scene. And I like, here we have the strength of Catherine Parr in many sense. And I, and I enjoy that. Five wives who came before her all met untimely ends. You know what, just this bit, annoys me. Divorce, beheaded, die, divorce, beheaded, survived. It's always how we remember them. And I'm a bit tired of that kind of slogan to remember the six wives of Henry VIII. Surely we can come up with something a bit better. Don't you agree? But Catherine's fate was to change the kingdom forever. Catherine's fate was to change England forever. Hmm. It's funny because, I mean, it's nice, it's a nice take, but it's funny because obviously it's not how we remember Catherine Parr, and so I like that we place her more on the centre of what happens in England. So, yes, I'm quite a huge fan. <laughs> and I love that love, like, <laughs> as if one of my wives could replace me. <laughs> We must rise up and take what is ours. We found Anne preaching to a large group. It is not for those above us to tell us what to believe. Wow. It is not for the people above us to tell us what we believe. I really like that because I think it tells us and it shows us how complicated it was. You know, the Reformation. I think that people just need to believe that, you know, we, we learn history with... Facts and dates, and 1533 to break with them, and da, 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 you know, 1536 is the execution of Anne Boleyn, da, 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 you know, 1547, Henry VIII's death. But it's more, much more complex, especially when it comes to religion and the way people were affected by it and the changes. And you had lots of people thinking, like, wait a minute, why is it always the elites telling us, like Catholics, Protestants, elites telling us what to do? Why can't we believe what we want to believe? Why can't we, why can't we find our own faith? And I really love that in the trailer. It, it makes it very interesting. And obviously here you have Catherine Parr very much listening and interested. She spoke. It excited me. Catherine, I pray no one saw you there that day. I pray that no one saw you there that day. Again, we have this image of women who have to be very careful of what they do, how they do it and how dangerous it is for women to be, I want free women, to have any type of agency, to have any type of interest. I believe that I was chosen by God to get the king to change his will. I was chosen by God to have the king chosen his will. Uh, really places like Catherine Parr, the center of it. And obviously she's the main character. She, it's the story about her, right? That's a very interesting take on Catherine Parr. We really kind of move away from this docile 
most bland woman, which she wasn't, obviously. You have to go. If they find you here... We would have to have their head cut off. I'm sure you would come up with something much more creative. <laughs> I love this because like just this kind of exchanges it's so you know a, a new take on Catherine Parr how she would like be replying to Henry like I love it um again it goes very much against how we see her and I think it's absolutely brilliant and obviously it comes from you know Liz from Antil's book you know with the Queen's Gambit and I really enjoy that <laughs> We trusted you, Catherine. And you're flirting with the radicals. It could endanger the stability of this realm. We trusted you. We trusted you to stay in your place. We trusted you not to make any waves. You're seeing, you've been seen with the radicals. Like, you're endangering stability of the realm. It's so good because it shows a, 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 a part of history that is so forgotten. It's the role of Catherine Parr in the Reformation and in the changes in the Church of England. And that capture that so well, and it's so complex, and we don't have all the sources, but here it's a work of historical fiction that gets very, still very close to the real history, while having like some obviously, you know, liberties that is absolutely acceptable. You don't want any harm to come to me. No. You don't want to hurt me. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> His confidence in your weakness is what keeps you safe. His confidence in your weakness is what keeps you safe. There are some lines in that trailer and then the movie that is like, whew, so good. Have you pulled his head from his neck? He's demanding evidence against her that she betrayed him. Catherine! Are you lying? Of course I'm not Are you a liar? God. Are you a liar? What precisely are you implying? My conscience is clear. Is she more vicious than all the others? Is she more vicious than all the others that have been here before? I mean, I have to say, this crib looks absolutely phenomenal. Wow. We've been here before. We've been here before. And we cut you down! We cut them down! We cut them down! Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit like speechless of the new take on Catherine Parr. I think it's brilliantly done. I think, I think the trailer is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to review the whole movie. I think it's going to be absolutely mind-blowing, mind-blowingly good. And you know what? Another thing that is so good is that they get the costumes and the, where people were dressing at the time, right? Like, look at, please. These French hoods are just perfect. <laughs> so I want to say it wasn't that hard to do it. I don't know. I don't work in cinema and stuff, but like in costume stuff. But it, it's, a, it's a brilliant. My take on this is that it looks like an amazing movie. I love that Catherine Parr is at the centre of it. I love that we kind of tell Henry VIII's reign through her. I love that he's depicted as a monster because he was. It truly was. And I think it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I think um, I think we needed this. And I recommend you for you to read the book. Even if you want to watch a movie. I think you need to read Liz Fremantel's book. And watch our interview where she, we discuss this as well. Um, yeah, wonderful. Very looking forward to this. So my opinion of the trailer right now is like a very strong 8 out of 10. Um, I could even put a nine on it, so I absolutely loved everything and hear the lines and everything. I really hope you enjoyed this short history police video and I'll see you next time. Bye!